Hello everyone, you are here with Claru Beauty and Life and with your host Claudia Lara, which is me. <laughs> Today, I'm so excited. I actually was not planning on doing a video right this minute, but look what arrived. La, 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 la. I couldn't believe it that it arrived this quickly. It's the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, the new one. Uh, I was very surprised, but very excited when I received it. I guess it's because I ordered from the Natasha Denona website instead of Sephora. I actually was not um, sure that Sephora was going to release this online while the sale was going on. Uh, probably if I had known, I would have waited because um, I would have loved that 20% off. But um, since I was not sure, and you know inventory runs short, so I just went ahead and ordered it uh, from the Natasha Denona website, and I guess it shipped immediately because I just got it today. Wow! So I'm very excited. We're going to be featuring this baby. I'm going to get it out of the box. I also got the Natasha Denona Macrotech Eye Crying. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it and have tried them. So this is the only color I have so far, the brown. I ordered this. Um, to try it out. If I do like it, I probably will get the black and the burgundy. I had uh, already ordered, let me see if I have it here, the cream, mm, the one that comes in a, in a little jar that is kind of creamy. I have ordered the, the champagne or the nude color because I saw some Instagram uh, pictures, some makeup that it looks amazing. I haven't tried it. I will try it for you here in the video and try to see if I can do something like that picture that I saw, which I love and why I ordered it. Anyhow, before we go into trying these babies out, uh, as you are aware, every day I wear a different foundation. That way you see how it looks in flat canvas and every new video is a new foundation. And at the end, I will give you my thoughts on all of them, the ones that I have tried. So today uh, I'm trying this one. Um, I don't hear a lot about it and uh, and I think it's exclusive uh, probably to Macy's because I don't see it everywhere, but it is the Dior. It is the Dior foundation. This is kind of a serum, uh, serum tint is called, but it is under, it goes under the Capture Total. It's kind of a race already. I don't know if you can capture it. Capture Total, you probably can. I'll, I'll list it down below. But it's supposed to be a serum tint. It's supposed to have all these uh, quality ingredients, at least when it was launched and uh, as I was going, that were very good for your skin. That's why I got it. I was a big, big fan of the Dior Forever, which I wore for many, many years, and it was wonderful for me. I think now that I have aged like four years ago or three years ago, I have I changed because that one felt very drying. Uh, well, oh, it looked dry when I put it on. So I have changed and now I use the Serum Du Surat, as you are well aware. And, uh, but this is one that I had then and I still use it because uh, usually I don't wear it in my face anymore. Although uh, I tell you the truth, when I put it on, it felt good. It's not drying like most because I have very dry skin and I also drink coffee and don't drink a lot of water. So I'm dehydrated. <laughs> It applies nice, it feels nice in my skin, but it does, uh, it gives me a lot more coverage than I usually like. I mean, if you can tell, it's really a white canvas. We'll see, I think it's perfect for the makeup we're gonna try today, but it is a little more than what I would usually like to wear. Um, still, I keep it because sometimes, you know, if I wanna cover some red, I get red here, down here, or in the neck, or if I wanna cover something, you know, I have big dogs and, you know, I get, little scars like this or scratches or things. So this is what I put to cover things up a little bit, just because I know it's good quality for the skin and, and I didn't wanna just not wear it because I like it. But today for you all, I just thought that I will try it on. So that's that. The other thing that I started to do in the videos is since I have, I have this love for fragrances, and perfumes and I order a lot of you know the samples or the uh, what do you discovery kits for many things but today I'm gonna be spraying I got this uh, in a Sephora order this is called L'Interdit by Givenchy I don't know if you guys know this if I've heard of it I don't know if it's new 
but uh, I figure every day with you all, I'll be trying you and, and discover here with you and I'll tell you my thoughts. So let's spray it a little bit. And this will, mm, this will inspire me throughout. <laughs> yeah, I put a little bit there. Just because that's where my heart beats, right? I mean, you're supposed to put it on the pulses, you know, right here, behind your ear, a little bit here because it pulsates and that's supposed to, you know, bring heat and aromatize the place. <sighs> but I put a little bit in my heart. I don't know. Just do. My chest gets hot. Hmm. It's flowery or a little brightening. It's, it's a little brightening, a little elegance. It's not like young and, and sweet. It's a little kind of flowery and elegant. Um... Let's see if it says what ingredients does it have. It doesn't. So the way I interpret my, I'm not a big connoisseur of fragrances, but the way it says, the underground flower, a white flower crossed by a dark woody accord. Yeah, I think that describes it correctly. I can't see the, the white flower. That's what I, it opens up, you know? Yeah, it could be like an orchid or it could be like a, yeah. So it opens up in that, cl not cleanliness, it's not like a soapy thing, but in that kind of um, essence, beauty, quality. But then it has that elegance, the woody uh, accord. Yeah, and so it gives me, you know how I say some fragrances give me the centeredness, or I have talked about uh, some that I use for those purposes. This one gives me like I'm an elegant woman, period, and that's it. It doesn't open me up like, woo, let's go and do something. It doesn't, you know, it's not like, hey, I am here, notice me sort of thing. I think it probably leaves a lingering behind of this elegant woman sort of thing. So that's where I live it. Um, so this is the Givenchy. It's nice. It's not something probably that I will be reaching for often because I, I, I like those kind of that um, communicate a little more. This one is just there. It's nice, it's elegant, is, I wouldn't say understated because you wear it. It's kind of like you wear it with confidence, but it doesn't feel like you, you have to say much or do much. The power is within. <laughs> that's my description of the fragrance. <laughs> but that's what it is. And since I don't necessarily identify with that sort of mood all the time, but it's good to know, right? It's good to know and to have. They actually send me two. So uh, we'll see, I guess I'll put it there. And sometimes I have a, a whole case where I put a lot of these little bottle things. And sometimes I randomly choose, int intuitively choose what I'm gonna wear for the day. Of course, it's not the best strategy because uh, then if you pick one that you're really not in the mood for, you're like, oh, of course you don't have to wear it, but you know, then the game is no fun. <laughs> All right, so let's get to why we're here. Why not? All right, so Natacha the Nona Glam Palette. Let's open it all here together and look at this baby. So, such a nona glam so far i love the size i love this kind of thing of course all my prints are getting already there um but that's okay i like the thing it's very easy to open you know how sometimes you get a case that you're like ga 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 no it's very easy to open and it has some kind of magnet so it does close easily i love that so far oh it has a full mirror i'm very tempted to take this out with you because um I know a YouTuber or some YouTubers that I've seen it do it and it's very pleasant, but you know, I guess I'm becoming a copycat about it because I really like it. <laughs> Maybe we make it a trend, right? Yes, you know, why not copy the things that you love? I mean, I, I um, definitely identify with it because I, that brings me pleasure as well. So there you have it. All right, so, oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted a little bit because look at this beauty. 
This is such an awesome idea. You know how big I am with face palettes. I mean, just yesterday, it's actually uploading right now. I did a full face with the Charlotte Tilbury Insta Love in a palette. I love face palettes. Why? Because I'm practical like that. I like something that I can put in my purse and it has everything on it. So I love that and touch of the I came up with this great idea. I hope she comes with other uh, colors. I heard that this is the light color and then there's a darker color, which is more yeah, medium to dark. I heard that you're, you're supposed to be able to wear either or both regardless of your skin color. Obviously, um, this one probably is easier. You don't have to be as careful that if I was using the darker, I didn't get the darker for that reason. I don't like to have to be careful. I actually own the Natasha Denona, uh, you know, little palettes. I, I, I own them all and I don't wear them that often because of that. Like, you know, this ones and you know, these colors, I like them, they're different, they're, uh, you know, I like this palette, that's why I have all four. But I had to be very careful when I wear them and, and, you know, things like that. And I'm not the most precise, careful sort of girl when it comes to makeup, so there you go. Now this one, I can see that one looks a little dark. Let's see how it wears, let's see how it gets in the skin. But um, it looks dark, but I'll tell you what I'm loving so far is that reddish, you know. It is more red than it when it looks in camera, I think. It has that rustic, that now everything is rustic, the rustic rose, the rustic orange, the rustic da 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 da, da. This one is that kind of rustic, what do you call it? It's, it's not red, uh, it's not on orange, it's not copper, but it obviously, you see how it complements this color, so it's obviously tending towards, um, yeah, it has some pink in it, even though it's rustic red or, yeah, I wouldn't say coral, but let's, let's see how it looks on the actual skin. So I'm very tempted to use, uh, you know, I would probably use a sponge for that, which I don't have one here. So I'm gonna try my dual ended you know i have one that i apply my foundation with and i have this one with the rubber band i'll put a nicer rubber band so it looks more elegant for you guys this is the it cosmetics that i usually use for bronzer which i don't have today but i will use it with this because this is cream and if you notice it has a little thing which i love this opens up because it protects uh i'm guessing oh yeah the i just <laughs> had to touch it the you see that that's the highlight i was just wondering if he was cream too because he was under that little thing it doesn't feel creamy moist it, it is very powdery but it is such a soft sort of thing that it kind of be a very low 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 diminished wax sort of thing yeah uh, not describe it is more powdery but not powder so thin and soft that was nice so let me swatch now the oh the blush oh nice okay nice oh wow oh yeah so that feels more not like cream so i'm not going to use this then i'm going to use uh my ref ref brush um, what? this is 24. I love this brush, by the way. This is very <clears throat> um, full of hairs, and so it picks up well. It does well with powders and creams, uh, but it's the, you can really direct where you want it. So I really like this brush. I really recommend this brush. See, I mean, we can try on one side this, and we can try on the other my Sonia G Designer Pro, which is what I would usually wear with blush. This is not creamy, but still, I don't think I would use this. If anything, um, I would use this Sonia G one that I use for actual creams, which I'll show you. This was in the, um, what was it called, Kambuki? Kambuki set, which I really recommend to you. It's smaller brushes, so it's not full brush, but I love the set. 
of course you know that I like those traveler sets, small, concise, practical. But this one is awesome. And what I hear about this one, this one is the mini base. This is great for cream blushes. And what I hear about it is that the actual long brush uh, that is like this, that the actual head of hair is the same size. Uh, there's no difference. So then this has been awesome for me. And it came in a set for with five, so you kind of get five for one. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try this fair and let's see what happens. Oh, I'm a little nervous. You know me, I'm always getting nervous because if I mess it up, I'm not very good at cleaning, cleaning it up later. All right, so I'm gonna start applying it just because I didn't know how strong Oh my God, I love this. I love that color. Wow. Oh, and by the way, today, Saturday, November the 6th, is when Lisa Eldridge Foundation was released and is up in her website. So just a quick reminder, because I'm hoping to put this video up tonight. It just takes forever to upload. I have to find a better way. Um, I think this color with the number foundation number seven that I order is gonna just look amazing. That kind of subdue elegance, kind of I wouldn't say antique, but um, you know that rustic feel that of a painting that she's going for. I think this is just perfect for that. Really, really. Oh my god. I mean, even for this. I don't know if I should interrupt the whole face thing, but even if I would just put this blush and like Painterly, which is a Lisa Eldridge lipstick, I think it would just go perfect. Maybe I'll do that real quick for you guys. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if you're interested on those kind of interruptions. I know you're here to see the palette, but you know, what can I tell you? All right. Beautiful. So let's do the other side. I... I am really enjoying this blush. It is so easy to put on, so easy to blend. Uh, it has enough color. And it really complements my skin. So I really love it. <clears throat> So I don't know if I always bring this up a little bit, just a little what is left in the brush in case, you know, it cleans the brush up, but also it brings coherence at the end. I'm still gonna put all the eyeshadows on top, so. All right. So I don't know if you would use a bronzer before, Probably I would just a tiny bit because you know I love to accentuate that. So let's just do that real quick. I would use the tone four as usual, but instead I'm gonna use the Westman Atelier Bisque just because it's so easy to apply. It is dark enough not to bronze, but just to shade, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna do this, you see very little. Very, very little, but I just wanted to, to bring, you see? Yeah, you see how that kind of shapes me? I really wanted to do that, so we'll do this this way. You know, it's preference. You saw how pretty it looked without, but I just like that, um, that definition in my face. I feel it, bring, it makes me, uh, my face thinner, mm -hmm. and I think he, he makes me look younger because my face was more like that, you know, as I go older, it kind of has widened up a little bit. I guess that happens with age. And now I'm just gonna bring back a little bit of this on top of it so it doesn't look, so it looks the blush on top of. Now, should I put the highlight now or not? Hmm. Well, let's continue. Let's not, let's uh, do it at the end because that's kind of like the, <laughs> the confetti at the end. That's kind of like the end end, right? 
<laughs> well, I also want you to see if, if you wanted just to wear the blush out. I mean, with the lipstick. I'm dying to put the Penterloose, guys. Let me get it and, and let me try it on. Uh, let's see if I find it here real quick. Because I can't see the names of the lipstick seating. I have to stand up. There's a Spirit Away. Oh, Penterloose. Perfect. Okay. So it's kind of a little break. Because this is not the lipstick I'm gonna wear with uh, with this palette. I'm gonna put, of course, in a touch of the Nona Amorosa, which is what she advertises with, and I love that lipstick. But in the meantime, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Penterly from Lisa Eldridge. I think it just goes perfect. Look at that. For an everyday. Oh, mwah. I'm loving what they're coming out. Finally, they're coming to my style, which is the kind of natural sort of um, natural kind of beauty. That's what the pandemic brought. Everybody wants natural, which is great. All right. So let's start with the palette. So I'm using Builders Pro from Sonia G. I think this kind is perfect to apply the product. Then we'll blend with something else. So Oh, it has transition. So it has the names in it. I guess kind of like Charlotte Tilbury. So you really know what you're doing. So it has inner corner, transition, crease, outer corner, and smoke. I mean, can they, can it get easier than that? All right, so transition color. I guess I'm gonna start putting this up here and kind of really all over in the bottom. Ooh, ooh, I love this color, finally. You know, for those of you that saw, I have a video from uh, the Surat eyeshadow, it's Surat Beautylish eyeshadow quad palette. And it has, I got that one because it has a pink, very soft pink, kind of all over shade. And uh, and I was telling you guys that I bought it because of that shade that is not goes into the beige and champagne, but it got that pinkish because I was looking for that. And if you saw the video, even uh, one of you comment below that it was too soft, that it barely was there. And yes, it was very understated pink. Um, but this one, this is just so perfect because it has a little bit of pink but it's not like a sweet pink it's a rustic pink which is what everything is in style and it is very close to my coloring look at the difference between this eye and this you see my brownish right so I love it. It immediately complements the blush. Oh my God, Natasha and Nona, I think you really, I did this. I did yourself with this one, yeah. All right, so we're gonna follow her instructions. I'm getting all excited. So <laughs> this is why I love makeup. It just gets me excited. I guess this is what really following your hobby or your likes. So I'm going with the crease. So now we're gonna do a little crease here. And you know me, my crease, if you notice, is more there. I do it a little bit high. I'm sure the makeup artist wouldn't like that idea, but I like that idea. And at the end, I'm the one wearing the makeup, ha ha ha. All right. So, so far is perfect. And what I like about Sonia G brushes, you see, this is the applicator. It's not even the one to, to blend. However, it has the pointy, you see, very pointy. So with the pointy, I'm doing this and it, it, it marks exactly where I want the product. But then I put it to the side a little bit and totally blends. So it's kind of using one brush for two things. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of the transition underneath. It kind of pinkish. Yeah. Oh my God. 
my happy yes love it love it love it love it i guess after this video you might say oh i did get it yeah i mean so far so good all right all right move it along move it along okay so now it says smoke so should i put the smoke first or the inner corner and outer corner uh, just let's put a little bit of this i'm gonna use in a touch of the known i like this brush quite a lot this is the number four but look how thin you see that oh yeah all right so smoke kind of a, as a eyeliner I like it. It is dark enough. It's not a black or anything. It is a, a brown, a very nice brown, I should say. And it's dark enough, at least for my taste, to, to bring that up. Now, if you want it to bring it up here a little bit or to even put it all over the lid or you could, and for this, somebody was commenting if I really like the Wayne Goss brushes. Um, I have to say for the Wayne Goss I said, I don't think it's available at this moment. You know, they get out of stock. But I really like their I said, And it's not that I like it better than Sonia G's. They're very different. Very different. But this I said I got from Wayne Goss because it was supposed to be better for hooded eyes because the the brush themselves are smaller. And they are, especially for this blending kind of part. Uh, and I can find the one I used yesterday, probably it's cleaning, getting clean. Um, but I think it's even smaller than this. There's also, let's try this. This one, I don't, I don't remember who recommended to me. This is a Zoom, uh, 36 wide, but you see how it comes in an angle? And so let's do that. I'm gonna do a little bit of the smoke, which is the darker brown. This is easy because look, the angle is just perfect to bring that there. So this one is very useful if you just wanna kind of do the outer corner. And uh, and this does it for you, you see? So I darken up a little bit, just the outer corner, just because of the angle of this. So it's kind of, you apply it like this and then you can just go up and it does the trick. So this one is a, a very good brush. I recommend you if you wanna just do that. And then of course, what I was talking to you about the Wayne Goss 20, let's just blend everything. Awesome. All right, next we have to do this, the, the, you know, sparkly, sparkly, right? I mean, how can we be without sparkly, sparkly? I'm gonna use this Natasha Denona 11 just because it's small enough and I know it will grab the product. And so I'm gonna use the inner corner and let's see. Oh boy. Yeah, you're getting into sparkle. Can you see? Oh yeah. I wonder how the um, how the highlight in the in the eyelid will look instead of so much sparkle. I mean, this is looking great. I love it, but it has the sparkles a little bigger than I would like for daylight you know for i guess night it will work perfect uh but for daylight okay so let's put the outer i don't know if you can hear some people outside you know here in miami today is so nice weather 
finally, because you know, in Miami, we're always dying of heat. But today is a beautiful weather. So I have all my windows open in my house. And I closed this one so, you know, the noise from the outside wouldn't bother us, but I forgot to close those. I can hear some people talking. I hope you can, or I hope it doesn't bother you. Well, I love the spark on this one outer corner. It's a little bit more wearable than the first one I applied in the inner corner. So I'm bringing it in a little farther so I guess this inner corner one is to be used only in the inner corner. <laughs> well, I brought it up a little bit, but it is a lot more spark. And then the outer corner is beautiful throughout. I mean, look at that. Yesterday, I tried the Charlotte Tilbury and uh, this one has a little more spark. The other one had a little more shine, more subdued, more kind of closer together, the chimes, the chimmer, let's call it chimmer. Very, very sparkly, but chimmer. This one is a little bit, uh, uh, a little more. You can see a little more, but it's still beautiful for during the day. The inner corner one, that one has sparkles. Like that one you can see, I wouldn't like it all over for every day. But, so this outer corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlight, the actual, this one and just put it up here, yeah, instead of the other sparkly. See, I think this highlight can be very beautiful um, to use all over the lid. So before I leave you here, well, no, I, I still wanna try the eyeliner and then I'll put both together. But before I do that, I just want to try the highlight. Let's do that, the highlight all over this lid. Oh yeah, look how beautiful. This is just a highlight, not one of the eye brushes. I love that. Oh yeah. And so if we were to finalize this look, I will equalize them after, but let's see this. I just wanna give you a different option. So I'm using the transition color just on top. And I'm using just the inner corner in the inner corner. Look how beautiful that looks. This is with everything. And this is just with those two. And of course, you can then use the crease right here. See, this could be a very wearable everyday, natural, right? I like it. I'm using the highlight again up here. Very, very natural. And then this one, if you want to sparkle it up a little bit. Let's look at the eyeliner, the brown eyeliner. So Macro Tech Crayon. Let's see what technology this has because it's one of the new ones, right? So, doo -doo -doo. Wow, look at that. You know, yesterday I also did a video on uh, pencil sharpeners. And this didn't come with any sharpener, I don't think. No. And um, I don't think I can ever make this being sharpened this beautiful again. Because when you start sharpening this part, since it's not pencil, I mean, does this turn? No. That will not look that pretty, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. I, I wonder how, how they do it, especially like how they do it in the store, how she does it. You know, she has to do different festivals. I guess she just takes a sharpener and do it. So let's apply this. All right. Oh yeah. So easy to apply. Let me just swatch it here for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad new technology is coming up and we don't have, you remember when we had to do very dry eyeliner pencils and we had to go actually hurt. You know, 
in one of the Instagram videos that I saw of this, look how beautiful. What I actually saw her doing, which we can try that a little bit. I'll try it at the end. Uh, is to put this in the under, in the waterline, underneath in this brown. And then she uses the black to eyeline the top part of the, of the eye. And it looks beautiful. I'm not very big on using a dark eyeliner in my on, on my waterline just because it, not, it makes my eye smaller. However, we can try it at the end and see what happens, right? So this is gorgeous. I love the I love the eyeliner. I'm actually, this is what I wanted to see. See if I like how it applied, how it felt. Now I'm getting the black and the burgundy for sure. And I'm even um, considering getting the actual kind of cream uh, brown that goes with this. It's supposed to slide like a dream. I have the nude, which is skipping me at the moment as usual with you guys in the video. I had it up here because I want to try it with you all. But, um, and I really like it. So if you want that kind of look where you put the cream uh, eyeliner and then this, uh, I would suggest for you to get the pair. So that she has it in brown, in black, and in nude. The cream eyeliner in a jar. All right. So I'm gonna go and get mascara, equalize the other side. And uh, I'll be right back to try the lips and the final look. Oh, and the highlighter. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So what I did was I finalized the other eye look. I put mascara on. I did a little bit of my eyebrows. And I put on the Natasha Denona uh, lip liner, which is NP1 Natasha. I love this lip liner and she also uh, loves Natasha Denona, the makeup artist, the one that released. She talks about this one being one of her favorites. Obviously she has other colors. One thing that I love about the design of this lip liner, which glides like a dream and I love it. It gives me enough color, but doesn't wipe me out. But one thing I love about this design is if you notice, it's a little coppery shiny. And so when I have it with all the rest of my lip liners, which is quite a bit, it's so easy. Let me pull what some of this is. Ah. Like if I have it like this, it's so easy to, um, to find it. You see the, the shiny coppery thing? I find it right away. Uh, this were the other type of eyeliners, lip liners that she has. They're white and says Natasha the Nona. This one is L2. I wonder if there's a difference between this ones and the other ones. When you're trying to buy her lip liners, they do show up in different places. Let me let me swatch it here for you. So this, so this is one. This is uh, L2. So right away, I think this is kind of how the formulas were before, a little drier um, versus. This one, oh yeah. So this one feels creamier, slides like a dream. It has that little, you see how this looks a little more waxy sort of, uh, or softer sort of paper versus this that looks like a pencil, you know, more woody. So I don't know uh, if there's a difference in the longevity or the performance of them. I just know uh, this ones are, <sighs> I love them. I also love the other ones. I have a few of hers, but I'm, I'm li liking this. And this kind of formula, I think I'm seeing it more now. So I guess it's a newer technology. I mean, after all, didn't she call it something technology? No, it's just, I need a nude lip crayon. Long lasting, easy glide lip pencil. It's true, all true, very true. So I guess this is uh, a crayon. She's calling it a crayon instead of a, 
uh, a pencil. I guess that's the big difference. The other one is lip liner pencil. So if you know what the difference is in the performance uh, or it's just a newer sort of thing, let me know. I don't know. But there are the two colors. And this one is the one I applied today, which is the creamier. Uh, and if you see, it has a little more brown, so it complements me uh, a lot better. All right, so now I'm gonna wear the Amarosa I Need Nude. This is also in the newer. You see all the copper, it's not copper, this is more pink, obviously, or reddish or uh, fuchsia. I don't know what you call this, kind of more coral because watermelon. Remember I told you that it has some type of a watermelon sort of something? All right, well, yeah, this color. This is the Amarosa. I love this lipstick, love, 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 because I'm not a person that enjoys nudes. And this is a nude, it has a little pink, and it feels delicious in your lips. Like delicious. Mmm. Creamy. Covers it nice. It's elegant. This is a must in the nude business, I think. It's just beautiful. Better. I like that one. I mean, each lipstick has its own place and its own overall cohesiveness and everything. But I like the way that feels better than the Charlotte Tilbury. Even that the uh, Lisa Elder is very different, but it just feels creamy. Mm. Yeah, I, I think this is not supposed to be a matte. And I think the other ones are sort of a matte, but doesn't feel matte. So it's not a fair game to compare it, but you know, I like this. It's not like it looks shiny or, or not matte. It actually looks very towards the mat, I would think. Yeah, very mat. <laughs> so, come up with a conclusion, but I love the way this feels. Yeah. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? I love it. I love it. I think it's, you can make it a, every day. Then you can pump it up. And I think you could even pump it up more. I mean, let's pretend I use the smoke brown all over my lid and then apply these shadows and then i don't know how they will perform wet but probably shinier i mean let's see oh i have the sprays up there uh let's play a little bit i'll be right back so just for fun i just want to swatch real quick um how the the shadows will look especially the sparkly the outer corner one will look dry or wet. So we'll get that is dry. And what I have here is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm going to wet this a little bit. So I pull out the Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Uh, kind of flawless setting spray, but I couldn't make it spray for some reason. So I just quit. So I'm gonna use this Caudalie Hydrate Smooth. Let's see how, just to wet the brush. There you go. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the outer corner. You see that one, I swatch the outer corner dry, and now we're gonna swatch the outer corner wet. So this is dry, this is wet. It does have a little bit, you see, a little more spunk. This is dry, this is wet. It's a little more spunk. I wouldn't say like super duper more, but yeah. I mean, if you really wanted a, a pop-up look with that, I will wet it for sure. I'll just put a little bit here. It's still wet. You see, it does see, yeah, for sure. So if, if I was gonna do this at night, I will wet my 
my brush and and put and put the uh, the sparkles wet because it did give that spunk a little more. Um, oh, and we haven't applied the highlighter for God's sake. Thank you for staying with me. Hi, <laughs> Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the Designer Pro Sonia G. I'm gonna pick up the highlight, the last step. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. And let's see. With, without, with, without. Does it make a difference? Yeah, it's not um, a super duper highlight. I think brands are staying away from that super duper highlight. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still some out there, but I think they're uh, bringing it down a notch, and I actually like it. There you go. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. Now, I did order some of her gloss that it is um, brown. I don't remember the name of it. I, th I only have here this Natasha Denona lipophoria this is new let's apply a little bit but i ordered the one that is more darker brown they were actually on sale on sephora for 13 dollars plus a 20 percent off so i ordered that color because i don't have it and because i see more and more of this rustic kind of look so it will look great with the brown um Okay, now we got to the place of a final look. <laughs> so here it is. I hope you like it. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoy the, the review uh, of this new item. And uh, uh, this is the time that I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, uh, to like the, the video and to approach or click the bell on your right hand corner of your screen and uh and to comment please comment review i mean comment suggestions requests i like this to be a conversation i really appreciate your time and you joining me in this my sacred place my sacred place of makeup and uh i guess i'll see you next time thank you very much <laughs>